In this video, I'm going to show you how to slow-mo videos. Slow-mo. And I want to make it as easy and quick for you as possible. So let's jump straight in. Here's what's coming up. Why slow-mo your videos? Video settings for the best slow-mo videos how to slow-mo videos, and then how to edit slow-mo videos. Why slow-mo videos? One huge benefit to knowing how to slow-mo videos is that everyone loves slow-mo videos. They are way more inclined to keep watching your video to find out how it ends. So you're much more likely going to get more views, engagement, and fans. Learning how to slow-mo videos gives you a more detailed look into something. So for example, if you're trying to perfect your tennis serve or your golf swing, this is in valuable because you can see it way slower than you normally would and then correct your technique. Video settings for the best slow-mo videos. So you might be wondering what are the best settings to record in to start with to get the best quality slow motion videos. It's actually really simple. You want to try your best to record in at least 60 frames per second. 120 frames per second or more is even better. And of course, if you can record in 720 or 1080, that means your video will be at its best quality as well. How to slow-mo your videos. So the first step is to head over to veed.io and create a free account. You can search for it or I'm gonna put the link in the description down below. So now when you're there, click on new project and upload the video that you want to slow-mo. Veed will then upload the video that you want to slow down. And as you can see, you've got your timeline at the bottom here, you've got your video on the right, and you've got some really cool tools on the left here. And I'm gonna be showing you some of these tools shortly to make your slow motion videos really stand out. So if you now click on the footage that is in your timeline, it's gonna bring up some settings for your footage. As you can see, you've got transformations. You can fit the footage to the canvas. You got some audio settings right here, which you can turn the volume down or up, and you can even clean the audio as well. So remove some background noise. Now here is what we want. You, we want to look at speed, and this is gonna enable you to slow your footage down as well as speed it up and as you can see it's on one times at the moment and this just means that the footage is playing in standard speed now I'm going to select 0.5 to show you how the slow motion looks so I'm going to play my footage now and as you can see that slowed down my footage and this looks really really cool but what if you want to just slow down a section of your footage not the whole thing so now I'm going to show you how to cut up your footage into different sections and then slow down each section if you want to. So I'm gonna put it back to regular speed. And over here, I'm going to increase the timeline here. Now what you want to do is click and drag your playhead here and select at which point in your footage you want to slow down. So I'm gonna put it right there select my footage and then click on split right here and it's going to create a cut in your video. Now I'm going to select the end point of when I want the slow motion to end, then click on split again and it's created an individual piece of footage and this footage is what you're going to slow down. But before you do, increase your timeline a little bit and click and drag this piece of footage over to the right to create a gap so your slow motion has room to spread out because obviously it's going to be longer. Now select that piece of footage and click on 0.5. Now I'm going to click and drag this other piece of footage next to this one and now when I play my video, Excellent, it's slowed down exactly the piece of video that I wanted to slow-mo. And that is exactly how to slow-mo videos, it's that easy. Now what if you want to use your slow motion video on Instagram, but your video's dimensions are for YouTube? I'm now gonna show you how you can resize your videos super quick and easy for you to be able to resize and use any video any way you like. So as you can see, this video's aspect ratio is perfect for YouTube. But what if I wanted to use it for Instagram? Now, all I would need to do is go to settings, go to size and click on story. And this will change the canvas's aspect ratio. Now I can resize my video using these handles here by clicking and dragging, or I can go back to the video settings and click on fill to canvas or fit to canvas. And this will make sure that your video fits within the nine by 16 aspect ratio. How to edit your slow-mo videos. I'm gonna show you some incredible tools that you can use to color correct your footage. At the bottom, you've got one called filters. And in here, these 
these are some predefined filters that you can use to color correct your video footage. So as you can see, if I click on some of these, it changes how my footage looks. So let's go with that one. I quite like the look of that one. So let's click on our footage and over on adjust here, you'll see you've got rotation at the top and you've got color correction. You can adjust your exposure your brightness, your contrast, and your saturation. And using these tools, you can make your footage look really professional. So all you need to do now is click on export at the top right and Veed will export your video ready for you to use and download in HD on YouTube or on Instagram or anywhere you'd like. And that is exactly how to slow-mo videos. I'd love to see what you've slow-moed so let me know in the comments. So I really hope that this video has helped you. If it did please give it a quick like and subscribe to see all our future videos. We've got loads coming up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.